The organizing principle of any society is for war. It is for war. It is for war. 9-11 was the first lie in this present state we're in. 9-11 is the kickoff of the war against the American people and the people of the world. 9-11 was a phony. It's a fraud. It didn't happen the way they told us it happened. Now because of 9-11, we then had the authority to go into Afghanistan and Iraq. Iraq didn't have weapons of mass destruction. The organizing principle of any society is for war. The basic authority of a modern state over its people resides in its war powers. Today, it's oil. Tomorrow, water. It's what we like to call the God business. Guns, oil, and drugs. But there's a problem. A way of life. It's over. It's unsustainable and in rapid decline. That's why we implement demand destruction. We continue to make money as the world burns. But for this to work, the people have to remain ignorant of the problem until it's too late. That's why we have triggers in place. 9-11-77 WMDs. A population in a permanent state of fear does not ask questions. Our desire for war becomes its desire. A willing sacrifice. You see? Fear is justification. Fear is control. Fear is money. Well, it's part of, uh, you know, the, the country, Lou, is out of control. It's out of control economically, but in the Middle East, we have been out of control for 15 years. This is all about American intervention in the Middle East. This is all about American intervention in the Middle East. Good morning, and it is not a good morning in New York City. States military invaded the sovereign nation of Iraq, a nation that had never attacked the United States. A nation that had never murdered a single American citizen. back to when you were chairman of the Joint Chiefs and, and even slightly afterwards when President Bush decided to go to war in Iraq. There was absolutely no intelligence, zero, that pointed toward, Al that pointed toward the Iraqis. It was all Al-Qaeda and Osama bin Laden. And yet there was an element there that was, that was pushing to go in, into Iraq at the same but time. But what do you mean about insubordination? The fact that the president says himself, we're not, going to, we're not going to do that right now. Let's focus on Afghanistan, the Taliban, and Al-Qaeda. Yet, below the surface, we still had this element that said, let's keep planning for Iraq just in case we can convince him that we can go. You say he was pushed into it? Uh, I think eventually that uh, that same drumbeat continued, and Afghanistan, remember, was going very, very well. The drumbeat back here in Washington was still pushing, coming out of the mm -hmm. Pentagon. Let's go to Iraq, let's get, let's take him out. And he finally said, let's go. We walked out on the limb before we could build a coalition of the, uh, either the United Nations or NATO, one of the two. This is all about American intervention in the Middle East. 
Thanks for tuning in to your truth. We all know that war costs a lot of money. But what former CIA agent who oversaw the country of the man thought to be Al Qaeda? So more soldiers committed suicide in 2012 than died in combat. In the last six years, the suicide rate in the U.S. Oh, the Pentagon frets over wasted billions. Ignores missing trillions. This is a global research. Seven soldiers died in Afghanistan on Monday, the deadliest day so far this year. Meantime, the U.S. defense budget is facing almost $50 billion in cuts, and it's causing mixed feelings in America. Taxpayers in the United States have paid $1.1 trillion for total war spending in Iraq and Afghanistan since 2000. It seems that secrecy is actually strengthening the national security state in order to hide from accountability and oversight. He's a former national security. A decade after the US-led invasion of Iraq, which toppled the brutal regime of Saddam Hussein, the country is stuck in a grim cycle of torture, Amnesty International says in a report released on Monday. President of Italy's Supreme Court to refer 9-11 crimes to International Criminal Court. Ferdinando Impassimato is the honorary president of the Supreme Court of Italy, but he's also a member of Lawyers for 9-11 Truth. And he has now stated publicly that he believes that 9-11 is a false flag terror attack, and he's announced officially that he's going to recommend it to the International Criminal Court to hold a criminal trial on 9-11. just mentioned that there's, there's a problem in the Sudan now. Well, last year or two years ago, we and the British and the European Union ripped half of Muslim Sudan away from that country, along with 70% of its oil, and gave it to a, a new Christian nation in the south. This has everything to do with, with um, uh, what, what our government does, and it should be clear to Americans. Americans aren't hated in the Muslim world as people, but their government under either party is detested.